Hi and welcome back. Um, I kind of rushed through this one um, tutorial, so I actually forgot to take sure these uh, um, screws, if you like, or nails correctly. So I'm gonna have to um, unwrap them separately. Um, what I might do for these is go to my Photoshop file and this side of the texture is not being used anyway so what I might do is create a little box here and I just run the same uh, um, gradient on it and then <coughs> I could press control S um, this copy of so look okay so now that texture has been updated and is here of course before I continue allow me to go and um, <coughs> open up this program for you So what I'm going to do is make sure I've checked Igno back facing off. I'm going to select everything and deselect the rest. Making sure they only have that selected. As well as these ones at the bottom. And I would want to run a planar mapping on them. That's fine. I can now scale these down. <coughs> and have a model in this area. Actually, select two of these and give him a bit more space. Something like that we should do fine. Okay, that's fine. Convert it to a poly. I will also go to my element mode, select all of them, and try to position them a little bit better so they cover the texture underneath because this doesn't look too nice ok that's better <coughs> convert that to the poly of course now I need to give this a size so that it fits this area here what I'm going to do is first put the um, pivot point at the bottom left corner so I want to make sure that I'm snapping to vert vertices. Make sure it's also correct from the top viewport. I think that's fine. In the front, I would want to bring that to around over here. And I want to scale this up. I would need to stretch it a little bit though. From a front viewport, I may also have to move these a little bit, but moving it would stretch my image. So let's see how bad it stretches it. Other things too, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. Just 
just make that go through the wall a little bit. It's not the most ideal solution, but it'll do. I would also want all the ones at the corner to match with the center. So let's look at this from the top viewport. And let's bring this and put it at the wall. And let's get a that's oh actually I need to uh shove um put a symmetry on this I forgot. <coughs> Let me isolate it to see it better. I want the symmetry to be in the z-axis in this case. And take the mirror up to there. Maybe a little bit less. No, that's fine. No one's going to see those textures anyway. <coughs> Convert to the poly. <coughs> Exit isolation mode, and it's looking fine, I guess. Bring that a bit forward. And now what I'm going to do is duplicate it or mirror it, but in the correct axis, making sure it's a copy, and bringing the copy on the other side. And this is how the door would look like. Of course, these two assets will be separate. These two doors will be separate so that we could animate them. But this is how the archway is going to look like. So I'm going to delete the copy and I'm going to save my file. Okay. <coughs> what I want to do now. I want to start taking these into UDK. I want to start doing those one by one. Um, I think what I also need is a um, one to eight by uh, sixty-four unit. I think I had one, but I believe I deleted it by mistake. So I'm gonna copy that across. Make sure, making sure I'm snapping the grid point. Bring that there. I want to go ahead and select half of this and just delete it. And I should be able to just go ahead and bridge the other side. And I could select them, go to unwrap, open UV editor, and bring the texture in unwrap this two polygons on the planar mode snap to 50 percent actually that again I'm making a mistake here because I need both of these or should I say each of them to be unwrapped separately um, and I have made a mistake here because I have editable poly here and I have a polygon selected this selection should be off when you go to unwrap to open UV editor. I should do each of these separately in this case and uh, snap it to 50% in this case. Again, um, unwrap that, snap let go and scale. So I'll select both of these now together do a control and um, sorry turn this off do a control and alt in order to scale from both sides and then I could freely go ahead and scale these um, hold shift while I do that after that that looks fine maybe a tiny little bit more that's fine uh, right click convert to editable poly <coughs> and 
going to name this one wall one to eight by uh, sixty four. Okay, the pivot points are at the right um, place. Um, we need to make sure that these are these are all at the right place. The, the pivot points. I would prefer the pivot point of this to be on the other side, but it doesn't really matter. So I have all the different sections that I need to export for now. So what I want to do is to save my file, and I need to make sure that the TGA file is the file which is attached to all of these or assigned to all of these. So I need to make sure that I, in my material editor, I select the TGA file just to make sure that that is a TGA file. Let's update that in Photoshop as well. So in Photoshop, I'm going to go to File, Save As, and to choose TGA and override the TGA file that I have. So it updates it in Photoshop as well. And I want to save it. Well, it's already saved anyway. <coughs> Here, I'm going to click on my map. Here it tells me that my texture is called Building Texture 01.TGA. That tells me that I have a TGA texture. And I'm going to select everything and apply that as a texture to everything assigned to selection. Yeah, you shouldn't see any texture change because it's the same file anyway. Now one thing to have in mind is that UDK does not take the pivot point based on the pivot point of the object. It always considers world's origin to be the pivot point. So if your object is there, it will put the pivot point of your object over here. So now that I want to, for example, uh, export this one model, I need to make sure that I zero it out on all um, X, Y, Z axis. And then I'm going to go to um, File, Export, Export Selected, because we have multiple objects here. Export Selected. And I'm going to, in my mansion, I'm going to call this Wall 128X128. That's not X, that's X. As an FBX, save. And in your um, exporter, I'm sorry for this red um, markings, you should probably shouldn't have that. In the geometry tab, make sure you click on smoothing groups to so export the smoothing groups. And you may also want to consider um, in the embed media, you may want to have that checked as well. Press OK. That's exported. So I want to move that away. Select the other one, zero it all out. File, oops, not export, file, export, selected. I'm going to name it the same, except this is not 128, this is 64. Save, all the settings are already there. Move that across. Uh, let's do the uh, the archway, file, export, export selected. I'm going to call this uh, main door frame. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, put that there. Zero all of these out. File, export, export selected. Door main door. When naming, make sure you don't put any spaces in between. Make sure the spaces, uh, the, if you need to separate anything, you do that with an underscore. Save. Okay. <coughs> um, let's do this one. File export export selected call this wall one oops one uh, two eight times uh, sixty four underscore corner select the other one What I might do is just copy the name from here and go to File, Export, Export Selected. Just put that name in there. And 
next piece, do them all out, file, export, export selected, cancel, I'm gonna copy that name first, file, export, export selected, 128.32 corner, save, okay, next, The name, file, export, export selected. Put those there. File, export, export selected. Okay, I believe that's it for now. I'm going to save all of this. And we're going to close the Max. I'm going to pause the video here. I'll open up UDK and I'll see you in UDK.